Hi, this is Sayyid Asraman. Welcome to our e-learning series. Uh, we at Ahmed Agri Chartered Content try to bring you the latest topics and issues which are been prevailing in uh, our financial sector. Today, our topic is uh, corporate taxation, and uh, there are some basic questions about corporate taxation. We will try to elaborate these uh, questions and uh, try to find the answer for you. For these questions, number one is the taxation, taxable person, who are the taxable person, whether it's an individual or the corporate entity, and what are the tax rates applicable to them, and what are the small business enterprise relief announced, and lastly, uh, what are the activities in free zone, which are the qualifying activities. Doing these activities, you can avail zero rate taxation as being a free whole uh, free zone entity. Uh, with us is Ms. Alia Noor. She's the expert in uh, finance and taxations. Uh, to you, Ms. Alia. And she's a partner in Ahmed Alak. Thank you, Mr. Sayed. And welcome to our taxation series. In this uh, video, we will be sharing insights on who are the taxable persons in the UAE, what are the corporate tax rates applicable in the UAE in mainland, free zone, uh, who can avail 0% corporate tax if these are individuals uh, applicable to corporate tax uh, or uh, what are the uh, tax applicability on uh, small business enterprises. First, we will start from who are the taxable portions in the UAE. In UAE, taxable portions uh, are being categorized into two categories. One is the resident portion and another one is the non-resident portion. Again, Resident person comprises of three subcategories. That is, number one, judicial person incorporated or established in the UAE, including mainland or free zone companies. Judicial persons in the foreign jurisdiction who are effectively managed and controlled in the UAE. And thirdly, national persons who are conducting business or business activity under a license. Second category is of the non-resident persons. Non-resident persons are taxable persons who has a permanent establishment in the state, who has a state source income, or those who has nexus in the state. Coming to the taxable uh, rates, corporate rates, if the taxable income uh, of any taxable person is up to 375,000 uh, AED, it will be subject to 0% corporate rate tax. And any income, uh, taxable income that exceeds 375,000 AED will be subject to 9% corporate tax rate in the UAE. However, free zone person who are qualifying free zone person, they can avail 0% corporate tax rate to qualifying income, which is subject to certain conditions. We have explained it in our uh, previous video, so you can um, check it out. These qualifying income should be uh, derived from their qualifying activities. And qualifying activities, as per ministerial decision, includes manufacturing of goods or material, processing of goods or material, holding of shares and other securities, headquarters services to related parties, logistic services, reinsurance services, ownership, management, and operation of ships, financing and leasing of aircraft, including engines and rotable components, distribution of goods or materials in or from a designated zone to a customer that resells these such goods or materials or parts thereof or processes or alters such goods or material or parts thereof for the purpose of sale or resale. Certain activities that are subject to the regulatory oversight of the competent authority in the UAE, such as fund management services and wealth and investment management services. Uh, uh, Ms. Alia, just to stop you over here, uh... I think the qualifying free zone is not announced till now, correct? No, it has not been announced yet. The authority has uh, uh, directed that uh, every entity which is uh, established in free zone, they should uh, concern their respective free zone authorities to uh, to confirm whether those uh, free zone authorities are eligible for 0% meeting or not. Thank you. Moving forward. Now, there is a, a small business relief as per Ministerial Decision 73 for small uh, business startups in order to support them. A taxable person who is a resident person uh, will be treated as, um, they can elect to be treated as not having derived any taxable income for a tax period where their revenue is below 3 million AD for each tax period. But there are certain limitations and criteria. 
So a small business uh, with revenue less than 3 million can claim business a small business relief. The revenue threshold applies to both the relevant tax period and previous tax period. Relief will not be available if a taxable person exceeds the 3 million threshold in any tax period. And it is uh, pertinent to note that small business relief will only be available for a tax period starting on or after 1st June 2023 and ending before or on 31st December 2026. The revenue can be determined based on the applicable accounting standards accepted in the UAE. However, qualifying free zone person or member of multinational enterprise groups that have consolidated group revenues of more than 3.15 billion AED are not eligible for the small business relief. Also, in tax periods where business do not elect to apply small business relief, they will be able to carry forward any incurred tax losses and any disallowed net interest expenditure from such tax periods. Now, very interesting. A uh, lot of uh, people are inquiring us about the tax applicability of the natural person. So the good part is that that no corporate tax is applicable on personal incomes of resident or non-resident natural person in the UAE. Here, natural person means an individual as per corporate tax law. Business or business activities that are conducted by a resident or non-resident natural person shall be subject to corporate tax only, where the total uh, turnover derived from such business or businesses activity exceeds 1 million dirham in a calendar year. However, activities conducted by natural persons are not considered business or business activities regardless of the amount of the turnover drive and they are not required to register for corporate tax or file corporate tax return. Such activities are wages, personal investment income and real estate investment which are uh, neither conducted through a license or does not require a licensing authority in the state. Over to you Mr. Ras. Thank you very much and uh, thank you very much Ms. Alia. Uh, these are the basics, uh, viewers, these are the basics of uh, corporate taxation and we uh, in next videos we will be elaborating more about the corporate tax and uh, thanks for watching us and stay tuned for our more videos on corporate taxation. Thank you and goodbye. Thank you so much.